In today's video, I'll show you how to create this video behind text effect, also referred to as text masking. As you can see, a video is playing behind this text and can be seen through it. To get started, tap on the plus sign to choose your main video footage. For this tutorial, I'm going to use some stock footage available inside VideoLeap for free, provided by pixabay.com. I'll tap on Pixabay, make sure videos is selected, then I'll scroll down and choose a piece of stock video. This one here. I'll tap on it, and it will take a minute to download into the project. I'll play through the clip to show you what it looks like. That's the clip. Adding your text is easy. Just scroll back to the beginning of the clip and tap on the text icon from the main toolbar below. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have the blockiest font possible. I recommend this so that you can see most of the video through the text. Then double tap on the screen where it says double tap to edit and start typing your text. I'll use Welcome to the Video. Don't use a lot of text in this step. The next thing you want to do is dismiss the keyboard by tapping on the check mark and then pinch and zoom using two fingers to position the text in the center of the screen so that it takes up most of the video screen. If you need to edit the text, like I did here because I made a mistake typing and didn't see it, just tap where it says edit with the text layer selected, make your changes, and dismiss the keyboard once more. Then you can continue to position the text in the middle of the screen to be sure that most of the video can be seen through the text. You'll see why that's important in a minute, so keep watching. Notice as I play the clip, the video goes across the text. This is important because of what happens in the next step. Be careful not to rotate the text as you're repositioning and resizing it. That's why I recommend using two fingers to do this part of the process. The more attention you pay to detail, the better off your end result is going to look. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. There are two different ways to complete the next step of the process, which is to remove the text color. You can either use the chroma key option or use blending modes. I'm going to show you that method now. Tap where it says blending and choose the dark plus blending mode. What that does is place a black background over the top of most of the video and remove the white text color so that you can see the video through the text. Watch what happens as I start to play the video by tapping on the play icon. You can see the video moving behind the text. This makes a great title screen. If you need to, you can make adjustments to the size and position of your text with the blending mode turned on. Just pinch and zoom long press and drag the text to resize and reposition it. That looks a little better. Once you're happy with the result, you can export the video to make your changes permanent. Tap on export, choose your resolution and FPS setting. I'll choose 1080p because I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube. Once you've done that, tap on save and wait patiently for the export to finish. If you interrupt it at this point, your clip may not export properly. When the pink circle fills in and the number in the center reaches 100%, you'll see a check mark, meaning that the clip has been exported successfully. Like this. You'll find your exported clip inside your camera roll. 
Here's the final result. If you'd like to see a video on how to do this using the chroma key option, leave a comment below. For more great tutorials like this one, check out the links in the video description below or one of these recommended videos.